Hello, buddy, DK Gilson here, and welcome to another episode of Figure Posing with DK. The title is still kind of a work in progress, but you guys really dug this video last time. It actually got quite a lot of love. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it again. It was a lot of fun last time, and hopefully it's going to be even more fun. It's going to be bigger and better this time, because I'm not going to just do change a few figmas. In fact, I'm not actually going to be, I don't think I'm going to be reposing anybody. I won't say that for a fact yet. I might decide to repost something eventually, but the actual purpose of this video is I, as you can see here, I am completely out of space on my two glorious Figma shelves. So, what I am going to need to do is I'm going to need to knock out this middle shelf. I'm going to take my plushies out from my, from my bottom shelf right there. I'll show you here. You know what? So this is my bottom shelf right here. I have all my, I have some plushies and some nendoroids in the boxes behind there. I'm going to take all of these off. This shelf right here will just move down and then of course this one will follow suit and then this is going to become a third Figma shelf. And the reason I'm doing this is because, again, I am completely out of space on my two Figma shelves here, and I still have more Figmas that I have to- Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Camera lost control there for a second. Uh, and I have more Figmas to find a home for on this shelf, and I am really stingy and don't want to buy another shelf because I don't want to take up any more space than it already is, but um, we're gonna have to, we'll, we'll see what happens. But for now, I have the ability to just take these down, move my plushies somewhere else, I have plenty of space for those. Um, but yeah, I have to somehow get uh, Chica in here as well. But I'm pretty sure that's not gonna be a problem. I think I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing with uh, with Chica. But yeah, let's just jump into this. Now I think I'm actually gonna move the perspective of this down a little bit. So we're gonna be, shit, we're gonna be doing some work on the bottom here because again, I'm gonna be knocking, I'm basically gonna be moving all three of these shelves down and then creating a whole nother shelf right here. Uh, so let's get to it. Howdy! Alright, so here we are on this shelf right here. We are gonna just move these three down here. So first off, I'm just gonna get all of my plushies off of this bottom shelf here and my little Kiloa pin right here. We're gonna take all of these off. Skaboodle, skabattle. We got all of my Manakumas. Embrace the hope and despair and embrace it all. Not just the hope, but the despair too. You must embrace it all. And then I have these box and Nendoroids down here like Toga. Don't worry, I have ideas for these. And then also Ogaki as well. Alrighty. Get all these boxes out here. We got the Lord Rimuru. And get all these out of the way just for now. Alright, so now we're going to move this shelf right here. Alright, we're gonna move this shelf right here. Basically, we're just gonna move this down here. I'm gonna get my my Swiffer wheel. Alright, I know you can't see this bottom shelf. I'm just gonna Dust it off real quick. Most of the work we're going to be doing is going to be this shelf right here. This is where all of the uh, exciting stuff is. So we're just going to do this real quick. Just move all of these down here. I'm not really sure if it's going to stay the same exact layout. Well, it's not because these two Figmas right here, Leonardo and White Blood Cell, are obviously going to go on the new Figma shelf. So we'll just stick those right here for now. This White Blood Cell Figma, while I have you guys here, I want to talk about this for a second. I have a review of this figure ready to go. It's recorded. Um, but I, I, I think it's a fine review, but this figure kind of broke on me afterwards and I did make a little thing up. I put it at the end of the video. So I don't know. It's, it's a roller coaster of a ride, the review, but I think it's a fine review. Um, but I haven't uploaded it yet. Cause first of all, I don't know how much, how much really people care about a white blood cell Figma, but if you guys would like me to upload this white blood cell Figma, let me know in the comments down below. If nobody comes, comments I'm gonna assume nobody cares and I'm not gonna upload it but yeah uh, so I did I wanted to I wanted to throw that in there real quick all right so I went ahead and did most of this off camera but then I realized a great thing to do during these videos especially when I'm just moving shit around is to talk about anime what anime are you guys watching right now I am watching the big one I'm watching right now is a sentence of a bookworm which is an absolutely immaculate fucking show I absolutely love it all right now I'm just gonna chain now I'm just gonna do the same thing here move all these guys down here we got Meliodas of course down here boom front and center got my Yori but yeah uh the main one I'm watching right now is a sentence of a bookworm it is absolutely immaculate I love it so much especially the main character she is really really amazing mine is her name and she is awesome I love a sentence of a bookworm I really hope that I can get some kind of figure. There aren't really any figures right now, but I love the show. Uh, I'm on episode 34, I think, so I'm almost finished with it, but it's really, really, really amazing. I'm also checking out that uh, Tomo-chan is a girl show. 
because I know it got because it was getting a lot of hype. I kept seeing like every single time I would log into YouTube, I would see people uploading clips of that show, and I was like, I gotta check this show out. People were telling me it's like the next My Dress Up Darling, and I'm four episodes into it. It's I wouldn't say it's the next My Dress Up Darling, but. This is, it's a fun enough show. There's, I, I laughed out loud a couple times, but I don't got much to say about it right now. There's some fun characters in there. I like Carol quite a bit. Carol is quite a fun character. Um, the main character is also pretty cool. But yeah, I don't have much to say about it right now. Only on episode four, I'll probably continue it, but at the moment, not really much to say. And then, uh, time to, time to piss off some people. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about this in advance, but I finally, finally, Checked out Made in Abyss. I got to, I'm on episode 5 right now of Made in Abyss. And I'm gonna be honest, at the moment, I don't get it. I don't understand what is so great about this freaking show. Again, I'm only on episode 5, so keep that in mind. But people say Made in Abyss is widely regarded as one of the best animes of the past, like, two decades. So... I want to know where that show is, because the show that I'm watching is boring, the characters are boring, the world is boring, the opening is mediocre as fuck, and I have not really anything good to say about it. It's not unique, it's not, yeah, it's not unique, it's not entertaining, the music's weak, I don't know. <laughs> like, at the moment, I don't really have anything to say about Made in Abyss, so we'll see. I will try and, I'll try and go back to it eventually. I know season two was the one everybody was telling me was so great, but season two only came out this year, and I've been hearing about Made in Abyss for way longer than that. Before I was even a mega weeb, I was heard, I, w I heard about Made in Abyss all the time, so I don't know, man, I don't know, but, um, Hopefully I'll see it someday. But yeah, that's what I'm watching right now. Uh, let me know what you guys are watching in the comments down below. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and just dust this off real quick. There we go. And we're gonna start working on this shelf. So, how do we wanna do this? So, for this video, I have a brand new set of risers to get this shelf in. Let me just open these up. I just buy these off of Amazon. They're really helpful for um, making your collection look more unique, just helping it stand out, giving you a nice little like, um, a nice little dynamicness to your collection. I still don't know if that's a word, but I'm gonna continue to say it. These all have these ugly little things on them. There we go. Yeah, yeah, take them off and then they look like this and they're very, very pretty. So let's throw that on there right there. Can I get these off easily? Or do I want to cut the camera? No, these are pretty easy. There we go. What else can we talk about while I'm doing this? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. Have any of you guys watched uh, Attack on Titan yet? The new Attack on Titan. I'm waiting for the dub because I love my... I watched Attack on Titan dubbed. I love, 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 love the Attack on Titan dub, man. Bryce Pappenbrook. I, I just... I love that man. And uh, yeah, so I'll be waiting for the dub for that. But I know I, I've seen a ton of love for it. Um, I don't know exactly, so what's the deal with it? Is it actually like the end? I, I, cause they said it was splitting up into two parts, but, um, I, I keep hearing like, it's the end, it's over, but like, isn't there another, isn't there something else coming? Cause it's like a, it's like an hour long special or something like that, like an hour, 30 minute long special or something like that. Um, but, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know the full, the full, uh, scope of it, but it, regardless, I'm going to be waiting for the dub anyway. But, um, if you guys have watched it, let me know in the comments the deal with it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to watch it, obviously. I love Attack on Titan. Absolutely love Attack on Titan. But yeah, I, it's, it's a show that I definitely watch dubbed. And again, I really don't know what, what the deal is. I never, I didn't look into it. I didn't look into what the, the deal was with this new season. Because there's like the, the, the first part is some like hour, 30 minute long special and then there's going to be like a second part it's going to be like a 12 episode run or something like that i don't know i don't know 100 percent, but there we go i got one more riser what just fell what the fuck just fell oh of course it was anya oh those fucking sh figure ones so i got your i got her right here um right here she better change my mind dude i swear to god if she does not change my mind on these sh figure arts spy family figures I am gonna, moving forward, when I buy SH Figure Arts figures, I'm gonna have like a, like a tainted opinion of SH Figure Arts figures, cause that Lloyd and that Anya are garbage, those are awful fucking figures, do not buy those figures, 
and um, unless you just love the characters that much, which I understand, I'm in kind of in the same, I'm kind of in the same boat as you. But that your that better be the exception. That figure better be legitimately great, and it looks legitimately great. It looks legitimately great. I found that I got that on the. Uh, oh, that's something I can talk about. I got that when I went to the um, the Demon Slayer season three premiere event, uh, the theatrical release. I went and saw that with my sister. If you guys saw my community post, I did talk about that. I went and saw that, and we went to some weeb stores, just like I did last time, and I found her in one of those stores, so, uh, pretty psyched about that, I didn't have to pay the aftermarket prices for that figure that I'm worried about, but, um, yeah, and I did go see the Demon Slayer Season 3 premiere, it was a lot of fun, I actually really enjoyed it, it was my first time watching the Demon Slayer sub, and, uh, yeah, it's definitely better, definitely better. Yeah, I seem to always prefer shonen anime uh, sub. I don't know why I continue to watch them dub. It's just, you know, it's just my nature, man. But yeah, Demon Slayer subbed. I will definitely be watching Demon Slayer subbed from here on out. And I definitely got to go rewatch uh, the rest of it. Because yeah, it was really, really, really good subbed. And yeah, watching the last two episodes of the Entertainment District Arc, that ruled. I actually really, really loved it. Um, and then the first episode of season three... Again, it, nothing really happens in the first. Well, it was it was more eventful than the other than the than the first episode of season two was, where literally nothing happened. Like the one thing of significance that happened in the first episode of season two was Tengen Uzumi assaulted, <laughs> sexually assaulted a girl. But um, the yeah, there was definitely something a little bit more exciting than that. There was a pretty cool scene in the first season, and it also did a pretty good job of introducing Mitsuri, who I already really, really, really like, but, um, yeah, and, you know, is for more reasons than just that one, although that, 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 that's definitely one of the reasons that, it, you, yeah, you, you know, anyway, let's get into this shelf building here, so, what, what do we want to do here, um, let's see, I'm your toughy. Okay, so this shelf, this second shelf right here, is kind of cluttered. I don't like how cluttered that one is, so we're going to change that. We're going to move some of the figures on here down to this. And I think the first move I'm going to make, the first move I'm going to make right now, is I need to either take my JJK team or my My Hero Academia team and move one of those down to here, because that will definitely help with the clutteredness. And I'm thinking it's going to be the My Hero team. I think that's going to be the one. Let me see. Okay, so move the My Hero team down a little bit. Now I have this empty riser back there. But, so back there, I think, is where I'm going to be putting Kaguya and Chika. I think is what we're going to do. So let me move Toka down here for a second. We'll move Mikasa down here for a second. Okay, so I need a, how about this one? I think this one will do the trick just fine. Cause right now, I bought these things and these were such a waste of money, man. So I have these, um, I have these, let me just show you guys real quick. I got these little cubes. These are great, I really like these. But then I saw these smaller ones and I decided to grab a few of these and these, yeah, these did not do what I was hoping they would do. They are just way too small to actually fit like a stand on. Like, it just, it just doesn't work. There you go. I could probably like, balance it on there, but it's not it's not worth it. So I don't really like these. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those. I might use them for accessories. I might use them to store accessories. But yeah, so I'm gonna take these out of here. And then I think I'm gonna give it which one was I gonna give it? This one. So we'll pop this one back here. And then I think we're putting Chica and Kaguya on this guy. Skaboodle! That looks pretty good. That looks excellent. Yeah, I definitely i am a big fan of that. So that's going to make this shelf look a little bit less cluttered. I might push the JJK team together a little bit more as well. That would also make it look a little less cluttered. Let me see here. Just push them together here. Okay. There we go. Nobara. There we go. I think... What do you guys think about that? Yeah, it looks pretty good like that. Tell you guys, I really need to buy a new fucking, um, a new fucking, uh, freaking tripod. I need to buy a new tripod for my camera because this one is like, it's ruined. It was a really good tripod. It worked for a long time, but all the legs are snapped. It's like barely holding on for dear life. So let me get back into this. Actually, I just noticed something. Toka may make a really awesome shelf leader for this shelf. Don't you guys think? I think Toka will make a great 
shelf leader for the shelf. I don't love this pose for Toka, but this is a tough Figma to pose, man. Like, she's awesome. I really, really love this Figma, but she's a tough one to pose, y'all. I haven't seen any other people's reviews of this figure. I don't know if anybody else has reviewed her, but, man, I do want to say, though, that there's a lot more going on with this Figma than I said in my review. I actually think my review is kind of ter- is kind of, well, not terrible. I still think it's entertaining, but I didn't talk about these really awesome butterfly joints that she has. She has really excellent butterfly joints. So, yeah, and also all of the pieces of her dress are actually on hinges. All of these pieces are on hinges. So, yeah, I wish I could have put more um, put more information into that review. But it's still an entertaining enough review. I mean, you guys seem, you guys clearly liked it. That's like, a, that review did really well on my channel. So, yeah. Does Mikasa work down here? Maybe. Might leave Mikasa down here. Let me just get this off of here. Let me get all of these risers off of here so I know what I'm working with here. Now, do I want to just go with the exact same setup that I always go with? Because I've tried to come up with other setups than just this one right here where the two come in like this. Like, I'll show you on my, on my Hall of Fame shelf. Like my Hall of Fame shelf right here, where I have these two risers here, two bigger ones back there. It's just, it's just tried and true. It's just perfect, man. I just, I, I love it. And I've tried, I have tried to come up with other ways of making it, and it just doesn't look good. Like, one thing I tried once was I put this back here like this, and I put figures on top of it, but I just hate, like, the big old opening it leaves right there. It's just ugly looking, so I'm not a fan of that. And, yeah, I don't know, but I think I'm just gonna roll with this, although I think I'm going to give some of these risers to right here to the second shelf right here. I'm not sure, hmm. Okay, one thing I'm sure about though is Satsuki is gonna be well, now, now Fumi here. Cause now Fumi, I learned from the last episode, is actually a really, really awesome shelf leader. He does a great job leading the shelf right here. Now, do I want to kind of put this same setup I have here? Cause right now I have Rem and Rum on these two little boxes right there. I could move Rem and Rom down to this shelf. I don't like doing that because I love Rem and Rom and I want them to be visible and seen, but it might work for the for the look of the shelf here. My other option, my other option here is I have to do my Konosuba gang as well. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do my Konosuba gang at the moment because I have Kazuma and I have Aqua here. So what I could do is I could take one of these risers here. Mm. So I don't have any more big ones. I guess I don't have any big, big ones. Whatever. Just show you guys what I mean here. Put this back here and put my Konosuba gang on this riser right here. So I think that will look good, especially once I get more members of the Konosuba gang. Obviously, I'm going to need to do that. And that looks really good. I really like that, man. But on the other hand... I have Rem and Rom. Where are Rem and Rom? Oh, Rem and Rom, you guys are tough ones. How do I get you worked in here? You know what, actually? Let me just, let me try something here. Let me try something here. Put Sasuke back up here. Kumoko, Mikasa, you guys will be going down here. Boom and boom. I'll get you guys your stands back in a minute, don't worry. Okay, but a doom da doom da doom da doom doom. Okay, um, what if I put... These little boxes back here, like that, and then just rem, I mean rom, sorry, <laughs> and rem. That works right, I don't love it, but yeah, and her and sandal fawn is really blocking it right here. Sandal fawn's a tough one to work in here, there we go, that's a little better. Ugh. I, really, I, I should change Toko's pose, I'm not sure, man. I've seen some other people get some better poses with her, but I don't know, that's a tough one. Okay, so I also have down here, we can move these guys up, I have Mako, and I have Yuta. First off, let me get Mako her stand back here. Alrighty, skaboodle, skabaddle! Doom to doom to doom to doom. So we'll pop that in. Wow, that was tight. I just... God damn, that was tight. I like crapped that. Oh my god. Fuck, bro. <laughs> uh, doom to doom to doom. Is that the, oh, that's that really loose one. You know what, for Mako, that's fine. No offense, Mako, but you're just not a Figma that I, you know, think uh, to, that's, I'm being mean. <laughs> it's a great Figma, honestly. The Mako Figma's like legitimately awesome. It's just, you know, she's got kind of a basic boring design and you know, she's, she's just a, she's just a side character. I think you guys understand. I mean, don't worry, don't, don't get me wrong. I love Mako, but you know. She's, she can have a broken stand, actually. Okay, yeah, it still works. 
Yeah, if you want to know more about that broken stand, you go watch the, the Kazuma thing review. I'm sad that review didn't get more love, man. I really, really like that review. The Kazuma, the Figma Kazuma Sato review. Put a lot of work into that, and I think it's honestly one of my better reviews, so I'm really sad about that. But yeah, um, okay. How do I continue here? But we just put you there. Let me get your stands. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. That one didn't crack it. We'll put white blood cell on this one. And again, guys, make sure, leave me a comment if you want to see that white blood cell figma review. It is a cool figma. I, re I honestly like it, but it broke. <laughs> if it hadn't broke, it would have been a fine. I would have just uploaded the review and been like, yeah, but it broke. <laughs> And I haven't watched too much of uh, Cells at Work. I got that Figma for a really amazing deal on eBay. I've watched like nine episodes of Cells at Work. Um, yeah, nine episodes. It's, mm, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan. It's not a bad show or anything, but the cancer cell thing, that was weird, dude. Like, quick spoiler warning for Cells at Work right here. If you want to, you can mute the video. But they fucking, I talk about this in the review as well, but I'm going to talk about it here as well. Uh, give me one second, though. Okay, so, freaking, they, the cancer cell is the big bad guy of the arc, right? And yeah, I understand that. Cancer is terrible. Fucking horrible, horrible thing that I really hope our scientists and doctors manage to get rid of in this, um, in this next decade or so. Like, fuck cancer with a passion. But, the way that they went about it in this show was so bizarre, and the vibe was just so weird that... So what happens is, so they're, they're chasing after the cancer cell, and then they give you this backstory for the cancer cell that's like him and his brother cancer cell were born, and they were defective, so they were immediately like, we need to kill them. And again, I understand it's cancer, it needs to die. So they kill the brother, the other one has to watch him be brutally murdered, and then he gets super pissed about it, which yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Um, so he gets super pissed about it, he freaking... God damn it, it's hard to focus on both of these. So he gets super pissed about it, um, and then he becomes, like, you know, the bad guy of the show. And then, so you get that backstory, and then they beat him, and he's laying there on the ground. They're telling him that they have to kill him, because, again, it's a cancer cell. They're telling him that he has to die. This is literally his final breath. And then the ending starts playing. That's like this super upbeat song by Clara S. That's like, everything is happy and awesome today. And it just, what the hell, man? Like, I again, I understand it is a cancer cell. And it needs to be killed. And it needs to be dealt with. Because cancer is a horrible, horrible thing. But... Why would you start playing that super upbeat happy ending while this per while this guy who we just got a horribly tragic backstory for is being told that he is about to be killed? What the actual fuck, dude? I was like I was watching he was literally like this cannot be real. What there was no red flags going off? I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. That show kind of like that can I just <laughs> No offense to anybody who likes Cells at Work, and honestly, I like the show enough. It's okay. Um, no offense, but that's the kind of show that I think of when I think that people don't watch enough good anime. Like, Reincarnate as a Slime is such an immaculate fucking series. I'm re-watching Reincarnate as a Slime again for the, fifth, for the fifth time right now because it's just the best thing ever. That show is so fucking immaculate it is such an amazing show and nobody talks about that show ever and so many people just blow off isekais just because they're isekais and then they'll praise a show like red like cells at work and i'm just like dude this show is s s not even that good dude you just don't watch good anime man i don't know man and no offense to anybody but that's just my take on it and it's just like this is why, this is why Isekai is getting these dumb reckon, these, this dumb fucking, um, what is it? What is the word? Uh, the, reputations. These are just, this is why Isekai is getting these dumb rep, reputations, because people don't fucking watch them, and they just hop on the bandwagon. It's like, uh, should I say this? I don't know if I should say this. I might get, I might get a lot of hate for this. You know what? I'm gonna say it. Fuck it. Nickelback. <laughs> if you guys are Nickelback fans, because I am a Nickelback fan. Um, Nickelback is a legitimately great band, and the only reason people shit on them is just because one guy decided that they he, that they didn't like it, that they didn't like Nickelback anymore, and then for some reason it just everybody decided that, even though they make genuinely good music. Yeah, some of their music is a little bit, you know, but 
they make good music. They actually just released a new song called San Quentin, and it's awesome. If you are, if you haven't heard it, oh my god, go listen to San Quentin by Nickelback. It is like a, it is like one of their brand new songs. It is fucking awesome. I guarantee you will like, like, will like change your mind of Nickelback. And even then, even before that, songs like Burn It to the Ground and whatnot, like people never even talked about like those Nickelback songs that are legitimately great. And just everybody just always hates on Nickelback, dude. It's just that. I don't know, man. I don't know how we get, how we went from talking about anime to Nickelback, but here we are. Um, what else can I do for this video? Because this video is a disaster, but I think it's going to be an entertaining disaster, at least. <laughs> so we have a problem. This shelf looks really awesome, but unfortunately, it's hurt my, my, my Hall of Fame shelf here. I don't know... Oh, it's, 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 it's disturbed the order. You know what, actually? I think I know what I'm... I think I know what I'm going to do here. So we'll move Mikasa... Even then, I don't, where, I feel like I'm missing somebody. Oh yeah, because I took Kaguya down to put her with her. Ugh! And I put Kazuma down there. <laughs> okay, okay, here's what we'll do. We'll put Kazuma back up here, because I love, love this thing. Let's say we'll put him right back up there. There we go, right next to Kaiji-kun. Kaiji-kun! Every single person out there, oh my goodness gracious, I, I, if you haven't, if you didn't watch my, Kai, my Kaiji Ultimate Survivor Figma review, go watch Kaiji Ultimate Survivor. That is one of the best animes I have ever fucking watched. I've already uh, convinced my mom to watch it, I cannot wait to hear what she says about it. Seriously, every single one of you out there, go fucking watch Kaiji Ultimate Survivor. Like, that's another one. That's another one that, like I was saying before, people praise shows like Cells at Work, Demon Slayer, they haven't watched Kaiji Ultimate Survivor, dude. You watch that, you'll be like, mm hmm. Those other shows, eh, they're pretty alright. <laughs> oh man, it's just, yeah, okay. But let me move on before I get cancelled. Alright, so... Okay, so I put Cosmo back up there. I, that looks way too good, man. Ka Kaguya and Shiga look way too good up there, that has to say. We'll put Mikasa up here, though. Mikasa can be on the Hall of Fame shelf, because Attack on Titan rules. And then, how do we finish this up? Okay, let me put Rem and Rom back up here. Or should I say... There we go. <laughs> Alrighty. Beautiful ReZero superiority. I wish I could put them on my Hall of Fame shelf, but I already got Amelia up there, and I have no space for anything left on my Hall of Fame shelf, so we'll leave that like that. Um, I think. God damn it, I have two spots over here, though. Ugh, the never ending struggle, you guys! Uh, and it doesn't, and your doesn't matter because yours just gonna fill and finish up the, the Forger family up there. You can see them back there. Yours just gonna be going up there with them, so. Damn it! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Guys, I don't, I don't know what to do. I went from having too many Figmas to not having enough Figmas to, 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 to fill all this out. I could break up the JJK team, but bro, come on. I can't do that. That's sacrilege, dude. How the hell am I going to do that? They look so perfect up there. I can't. I can't do that, man. What do I do? Fuck, what do I do? You know what? I have an idea, actually. Let me try this. Let me try this. Let me... <laughs> Oh, I was thinking, no, hmm, that's so complicated, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, let me just tell you guys what I was thinking. So what I was thinking was I put Aqua back up here, put this back here, and then I take one of these guys, and I literally put some pop-up praise on here, like Meliodas. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Meliodas right there? Um, hmm, let me put Meliodas right there, and then I put... Taki and Mitsuha up here. Here we go. Ooh, Suzume! Are you guys excited for Suzume? I am so excited for Suzume, dude. I've seen the trailer like five times, and I cannot freaking wait. That movie looks so awesome, dude. I really hope Makoto Shinkai does something new with that one. I mean, I never saw a person get turned into a chair in, in your name, so hopefully... We've got something new here this time, Makoto Shinkai. Please, I love your fucking movies. Please make something cool and unique. And Suzume looks like an awesome movie, so I cannot wait to see that. And I'm definitely seeing that sub, so there you go. Okay, what could I... How could I put... What if I put Meliodas right here? Hmm. Right there. There we go. 
It's not perfect, but it does fill out the shelf. Honestly, that looks pretty good, I think. I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna roll with it. I still don't have a person right here, though. Who do I put right there? I have no more Figmas. I thought I had more than this, guys. Too bad I don't have Eris yet. Eris is coming out very soon. I'm so excited to get Eris from Ashoka Tensei. She'll go right there, but at the moment, I have nobody to put there. Fuck. <laughs> What if I put, oh uh, no, that's gonna look weird, dude. That's gonna look weird. Again? <laughs> I mean, he's really big, but it doesn't, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. I mean, this doesn't work either, but it's not as bad. I can put Gen right here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've also kind of destroyed these bottom shelves too. Oh, it's a never ending struggle. Oh, I just need someone to put here, man. Fuck. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't have anything. <laughs> oh, man. How can I reorganize this? This looks so good, though. I love this layout right here, man. This looks awesome. I just need one more person to put over there. And it would be perfect. It would be fucking perfect. Damn it. Well, I can't, I can't forget. I mean, I could just... Wait, blood cell? Have an open space right there. <laughs> mm, overhaul? Yeah? <laughs> Whatever, I don't really have any other options right now. I'm probably gonna combine these back together and then put my plushies back down there again, cause yeah, this kind of worked out pretty well. I mean, obviously this will all, all this will be taken out over time once I get the uh, upcoming Figmas. Like, I have no idea where I'm gonna put Nanami either, cause Nanami obviously can't go up there with the other JJK boys, cause there's too many up there, so. I don't know. I'll that we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But I think that's gonna do it for this episode of the collect show collection work with DK. I like that name more than figure posing with DK personally. I'll probably call it figure posing with DK episode two, just because you know the first episode was very well received. So I don't want to you know change the name on y'all and then it not get uh, and then nobody watch it. But yeah, I think it was a good episode. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys thought. And yeah, hopefully you guys, none of you guys hate me for all those hot takes I gave you in this video. Um, keep in mind a few things before we leave here. I'm only on episode five of Made in Abyss, okay? So cut me some slack there. Um, and that's all I got. DK Guillotine signing out. <laughs>